Thank you, sir. What a thoughtful thing to do. This doesn't say what materials you've purchased. Yeah, it doesn't. But How do I know, therefore, that this money has gone on paint? £417.74. Now, that's a realistic bill. Yep. But how do I know that's paint? On the 26th of December, £92 was spent at B&M's. Um, I bought a load of paint that was God, at my house. Of Be quiet! Because originally I weren't going to use Richard. It was only agreed sort of come the day Before after I bought the paint. You are making, I have to tell you, a very serious allegation. Yeah. What you are saying, well, just so I can make it clear to you, is that when your uncle tells me that he spent £500 on paint and materials for this job, he is lying to me. He's a bomb. He could buy anything with it himself. You've come to court with no evidence of the five hundred pounds. I'm only coming here and saying what I tell you. Even that was that honour. Where's the proof? I don't need to. I'm, I'm not cheating him. I don't want to rob him. Why well, would I do that? Come on. I've got the proof, mate. What, what you're, you're telling me, however, you've got jobs everywhere, Shane. You could probably bought that for other jobs. What's all that? What's your I, response? Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, but that could be anything. How, I bought loads of stuff. He didn't. Have. Did he get cork? Did he get <coughs> sandpaper? Did he get filler? How do we know? The next paint? part of your claim is £175 for diesel. Yeah, seven days. Right. I'll put that on the quote. You said it was what 2, quote? There's a quote. No, in my head, what we agreed on. Just pause. Wait a second. On the quote, we agreed on. Just for a second. Do you please... Can you go inside and just go and get my brain pliers? <laughs> <laughs> How do you say that that is an actionable part of this contract? I never charged him, told him I was charging him these, or I put it in the quote, the price. The quote that was in your head? Yeah, and the price. Did you know that it included diesel? I can't read his head. You can't what? Read his head. No, neither can I, and if you did, I suspect it'd need an adult warning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, the next part of your claim is seven days' worth of wages. How much are you suing for, sir? 1,000. I paid the boy £500, the other fella. You broke, if there was a contract, you told him to get lost, use that language, after how many days? It's probably a week, but... I Thank you. How many days he done in that week? I don't know. And this wasn't being done to the speed that you wanted, correct? Correct. It is possible, is it not, that it could have been done to a decent standard. Could have been. Could have been. Thank It'd you. probably still be there now. Now, this is a difficult case. You're claiming £500 for materials and £175 for diesel. You can't claim that back because I could never have any confidence in the value of what you purchased. I have no choice but to dismiss that aspect of your claim. The next part of your claim is for £1,000, sir. Look at me. I am satisfied that the reason you didn't complete the work is because you didn't have an opportunity to complete the work and that Shane took a view, reasonably or not, that he wanted it done within a quicker period so that he could get into the property. That was not effectively communicated to you and the court could never know, I could never know, because he didn't provide evidence about the state of the work when you left the site, as to whether or not it would have been completed to a perfect standard if you'd been given the chance. Because you weren't given that chance, it seems to me you are entitled to the full value of the work that was completed. And so, consequently, as a matter of law, you're entitled to the £500 for your labour and the £500 that you paid to the subcontractor. This court, consequently, awards you £1,000. Now, I can't force you to shake hands, but that was my hope. I was hoping you'd listen to each other and get over it for a thousand pounds. Is that possible? Geez, I don't want to do it. Entirely a matter for you. What if this court is a thousand pounds? Richard was awarded one thousand pounds of his original claim. Okay. Do you want to follow me out? Let's find out how both parties felt about their day in court. Always chase for money constantly. He owes money everywhere. I'm the one who goes and helps him out. It, what, what is it all about? What, what, I don't know. You haven't got proof that you've paid out oh, a thousand pounds. You know I have. You haven't. I don't know what house. this is all about, but happy Honestly. days. I'm finished now. I am out of pocket, but I don't care about that. It's, it's, I'd rather be friends with Shane. It's not about money in life. But sometimes it's, you can't keep telling. In life, you can't try to tell people all the time. They don't listen. That's why I thought, well, maybe the fellow eater, old rider, 
he can uh, put a bit of sense in the boy. But it didn't happen, did it? You saw it. The proof is the proof, and he didn't have no proof. So how the hell can he win? That we know, isn't it, Gov? Coming next. Angelica <laughs> is very deaverish. In what sense? I mean, who would you compare Jelly to? She probably could be one of the Kardashians. 